Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halak here from the GMS Denver camp, coming back once again through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time I have a few articles I want to go into dealing with the signs of the times. So this first one is... uh. German police clash with protesters at Castle demonstration against COVID-19 restrictions or C-19 restrictions to lock it. So it says what? Multiple scuffles broke out on the streets of Cas oh, it was Castle, or Cassel, Castle, Germany on as C-19 lockdown skeptics and counter protesters gathered and police de deployed mace and batons to contain the demonstration. Protests Protests against C-19 restrictions in multiple major cities across the country, country were planned for Saturday, with the biggest occurring in the central German city of, of Kassel. According to, the, to local media reports, citing police, at, a, at least 10,000 people, 10, people showed up for a rally there, many of them refusing to wear masks, because the people are fed up, man. You see, the people are fed up. Let's get that real quick. Real quick, real quick. Let's bring out one real quick. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. And that's what we see happening, man. Since the wicked are bearing rule, according to Joel 9 and 24, the earth is being given into the hand of the wicked. And Malachi 1 and 4 tells you who the wicked is. Esau, Edom shall be called the border of wickedness. The Edomites are the so-called white people. They're the ones who are ruling the planet Earth. And because these people are in rulership, the people are mourning, man. The people are fed up with being locked in their homes, man. The people are fed up with these restrictions. The people are fed up with wearing masks. You see? Being told where they can go and what they can do and what time they have to be home. The people are fed up with that, man. The people are in a state of mourning. Because what? This is causing people to lose their jobs. So unemployment, the unemployment rate is sky high. People are losing their homes. You see, that's a sign of mourning, man. The people are, are not rejoicing right now because if they were, there would be no protest going on. You see that? So Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, and who are the righteous? Yahweh Shah and 144,000 with the rest of the nation of Israel, man. That's the righteous. And when the righteous come, in the, come into authority, which is about to happen very soon, the people are going to rejoice, even though they're going to be in captivity for a thousand long years building up our kingdom. But after that time, they're going to be able to go back to their lands and inhabit their lands and be at peace in, 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 a, in a, a state of peace. You see? Not have to worry about, uh, worry about being uh, restricted to their homes, man. At, ab being able to actually enjoy the planet Earth. Being able to actually enjoy their families, man. In, in, in a righteous state up under the Israelites. That's what's going to happen when we come into power, man. That's what the Most High is about to do upon the Earth. But, not, but now, right now, under the current rulership, the wicked, the people are in a state of mourning, man. And this is what we're seeing. You see? So it says what? According to local media reports citing, citing police, at least at least 10,000 people showed up for a rally for a rally there, many of them refusing to wear masks. The marching protesters chanted, we're, this is German shit, we're sin das Volk. When, we're, we're sin das Volk. We are the people. At one point, a slogan commonly used in the past during anti-communism demonstrations in East Germany. So let's play this video.
erste Veranstaltung. Vielen Dank. People are fed up, man. You see, so that's it on that one. So I got another one. So that's uproars of the people. Now we have this right here. It says tsunami warning temporary issued in Japan as 7.2 magnitude quake hits off the northeast coast. A, 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 a fucking uh, earthquake so strong it's, it's caused a tsunami warning, man. And, and being in an earthquake is a, is a terrifying fucking thing, man. <laughs> you see, because that shows that you really have no power, man. You can't you can't do nothing at all, man. When when these things happen. That's all the most high. So it says what? An earthquake of a magnitude of 7.2 struck off the coast of Japan's Miyagi Prefecture on Sunday evening. Prompting the local meteor, 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 meteorological agency to briefly issue a tsunami advisory. The quake struck, the quake struck northeast, northeastern Japan at around 6 p.m. local time. Japan's meteor, meteorological Meteorological agency put the quake of that of a quake at 7.2. It's like agency put the power of the quake at 7.2, saying it happened at a depth of 60 kilometers. Several weaker aftershocks followed over the next hour. So here's a video. Oh yeah. Caught in one of those, man. I remember the uh, the first day I got to Japan, I was in processing when I was uh, back in the military. And as I'm in processing, bro, an earthquake was taking place. And the dude who was there, he was like, oh, this this happens all the time. And he was just going on like, you know what I'm saying? That shit always happens, man. But that's the most high, man. Shaking that place up. And these things are happening more and more often, man. You see? And they're going to happen, and they're going to get even stronger the closer your Hawashai gets, man. The closer your Hawashai gets to a second coming, they're going to get even stronger. So it says what? The agency issued a tsunami warning for the areas closest to the quake, which was later lifted. The Miyagi, the Miyagi prefecture has issued an evacuation order for almost 7,000 households in the coastal town of uh, uh, Shichi, Gahama. Residents have been directed to move to seven local shelters. One year, one year today, in Japan, we got a 7.2 quake off the coast of Ensho, Enshi no Maki. See what this is like. Oh, that was. So here's another one. It is what it is. But you see, that's what's happening, man. And what, what does this go back to? This is scripture, man. That's prophecy. That's 2nd Ezra's 9, man. It says what? He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And that's what we're seeing happening all throughout the earth, man. Uproars of the people are happening. All throughout the earth, man. You see? Let's see something real quick. Let's see how many protests are taking place right now.
me see. Oh, this is from 2020. Myanmar, military coup and protest explained visually. London protest, angry clashes with police and anti-lockdown demo turns violent. India's farmers protest, mark 100 days. Church holds protest in support of a stop Asian hate. Oh my goodness. Burmese protesters continue to demand democracy. Hundreds march for Asian American lives in Madison. Myanmar protests getting permanent symbols of resistance. Hmm, what else? Protests in front of private homes crossing dangerous lines. Senegal, Senegal erupts in protest with a rape charge only the spark. So it's protests happening all, all throughout the earth, man. This, this is uproars of the people as the most I said what happened. You see, this is what's happening, man. This is the signs of the times letting us know that, hey, the time of, of great judgment is about to be unleashed upon this planet Earth, man. You see, that's what these, these, these protests and these earthquakes are symbolizing. And not only that, we have also, let's go back to RT. So not only that, you also have this happening, man. Iceland Volcano. For Grados, Dishval, or whatever, between capital and main airport erupts, triggering air travel warning. You hear that? So volcanoes are erupting all throughout the earth? Is this coincidence? No, man. These are signs from the Most High. You see? A volcano has erupted in southeast Iceland following heavy, si following heavy seismic activity. A series of small earthquakes in the area. There, there it is. Earthquakes and uproars in the people. An earthquake caused this to happen, man. All inbound and outgoing flights have been briefly halted amid the eruption. The uh, the Fargras, the Fargras, whatever, man. <laughs> Volcano located around 20 miles south of the country's capital of... God damn. <laughs> Yo, all right. Erupted late on Friday night, according to the Icelandic Meteorolo Meteorological Office, which noted that flights to and from the neighboring Kiflavik Flavik International Airport have been paused. You see that? Let's see this, man. See that? It started eruption. There it is, man. Oh, what's that? That's uh Joel chapter two. This is all prophecy, man. Oh yeah. Um Joel chapter two. The end of the chapter. We'll start at uh So lock you. So it says, uh, we'll start at 28. Joel 2 and 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall have, and your young men shall see visions. This is another sign of the times, man, because this is happening all throughout the earth as well, man. Everybody coming forward with their personal testimonies on how about these dreams that they're having about the end of the world. You had a brother just post a, a video of Carrie Hilson talking about she has uh, vivid dreams of, of the end of the world at least once a year, man. The same reoccurring dreams. And this is happening all throughout the earth. The brother just had a dream last night about something that was happening. Uh, 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 dealing with the most high saving the, uh, the men of the Lord. So this is taking place. And it says what? And upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. You see that? And that's, and that's happening amongst all nations, man. It's not amongst the, the, uh, the Israelites. 
is amongst all the uh, uh, other nations, man. Even heathen are having dreams about the end of the world. You just had a uh, a Edomite a couple months ago have a dream about the the the, uh, the RFID chip, man. How that she was holding in her hand, and when she refused it, it turned into blood in her hand, man. You see, this is all of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Verse thirty says what? And I will show wonders in heaven. What's these wonders, man? <laughs> what are the wonders? Hey, the chariots are everywhere. You see? The chariots are everywhere, man. The brother just put up a video today. How about a, a chariot was spotted in Brazil, man? And this is happening all throughout the earth at a at a a, a high rate, man. Just as the most I said will happen. It says what? And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. You see that? You had wildfires going on all last year. Australia was burning. The Amazon rainforest was, was burning. The most I was burning down California. You see? Hey, volcanoes are erupting. Like, bro, it's 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 going down, man. <laughs> you see, it's going down. It says what? And pillars of smoke. And the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon shall be turned into blood. We seeing that. Hey, solar eclipses. You just had one a couple months ago. You had that blood moon that took place uh, a few months before that. Blue moons, all type of signs in the heavens, man. Or you just had the uh, Saturn and uh, Jupiter line up. That was all of you. How about you? I was shy, man. Giving us signs of, of what time we're living in. While everybody else is out here uh, bullshitting and partying or uh, playing around. We're giving you uh, the, uh, the the signs you should be look should be looking for through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. And it says what? The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah come. That lets you know, man. Just like the, the, the earthquakes and uproars of the people are a sign of the times, all these things that's happening in the, in the heavens, uh, 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 these earth, the, 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 the volcanoes that are erupting, you see? Those are all signs of the times letting us know that we're there. We are nearing the day of the Lord, man. Verse 32 says what? And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah have said. And in the remnant of whom Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah have called. You Christians love to take this scripture and, and say that this applies to everybody. No, man. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord of Zion, of the nation of Israel, beginning with the remnant, shall be saved. You see that? That's where the Apostle Paul quoted this from, man. Joel chapter 2. You see? Matter of fact, it, was it the Apostle Paul? I might be wrong with that one. But I know one of the Apostles quoted it. Let's do a cross-reference. Acts 2, it was Apostle Peter. Hmm, let me see. Salaki. Yeah, it was the Apostle Peter who said it. Salaki, it was Apostle Peter. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Where he did where he did where he did where did he quote that from? Where he did where did he get this uh this scripture from? He got it from Joel too, and that was talking about for the Israelites calling upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. You see that? See, I just wanted to bring that out real quick, man. The signs of the times are happening right before us, man. The day of the Lord is at hand and haste of greatly, man. You see? So with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekach, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful that I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Abba, Baba.